students today we will discuss a topic balancing of equation at the standard 10th so what is the balanced equation first question come in our mind what is the balanced equation and unbalanced equation so let's see one example na plus h2o it is water it reacts in form na OH plus H2. Let's see, is it the balance equation? It is the reactant side. Reactant side. And here it is product. Which is at the left hand side. And it is at the right hand. Sorry, it is at the left hand side and it is at the right hand side. So, the number of sodium atom in LHS is 1. In RHS, it is also 1. Okay. Number of hydrogen atom, here it is 2. And here it is 1. And here 2. So, it is 3. Oxygen, it is oxygen. It is 1 and here it is also 1. So, as the number of each atoms in both sides is not equal. Yes, sodium is 1, 1 on both sides. Oxygen also 1, 1 on both sides. But in case of hydrogen, it is 2 on LHS and 3 on RHS. So, we can say that this reaction is unbalanced. Okay. If the number of atoms in reactant is not equal to the number of atoms in the product or at the RHS right hand side, then the equation is said to be unbalanced equation. Now, let's see the balance equation. Now let us see. Let us see again. Na here, two Na, two Na on LHS and here it is on RHS. Then in case of hydrogen, four, two molecule of S two O and one more two molecule in, in one H two molecule. So the whole hydrogen atom is four here. Here, two, two molecule of NaOH, okay. And in each NaOH molecule, one molecule of hydrogen. So, it will be two and it, here it is also two. So, four. Then oxygen, it is two and here it is also two. Now, we can see that in the left hand side, the number of each atom is equal to the number of each atoms in the RHS. So, it is 2, 2 on both sides, 4, 4 on both sides and 2, 2 on both sides. So, now the reaction is your balance. So, so it was a difference between balance and unbalanced reaction. Now, our next task is in every chemical reaction, we have to see whether it is balanced or not. If it is no unbalanced reaction, then we are supposed to balance it. Then my question is, we have clear what is balanced equation. Now my question is why we are supposed to do any equation balance. Because there is a concept of conservation of mass. Conservation of mass in any chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. What does it say? That the mass of reactant should be equal to the mass of product. Okay. 
it should be equal to following this mass in any chemical reaction we obtain the mass because of the atoms atomic weight and the atomic weight we obtain from the atom so we are supposed to do any equation to balance it as it follow the conservation of mass in any chemical reaction so our next question how we can perform this in your ncr to book there is a very good example so i will take that example which make you easy to go through the book so let's see that one f e so your reaction is f e plus h 2 o is equal to f e 2 3 plus h 2 clear now we are supposed to see whether the reaction is balanced or not balanced first of all okay so what we have to do f e there is one molecule here f e is two molecules and automatically it is not balanced reaction so we have to do the balancing now how the balancing is done there are the steps in first step what we are supposed to do make or and box every compound without changing its number of atom don't change anything inside the box just make box it will be easy to deal with the reaction okay so it was our first step now in our second step write down your element make a column of element the number of atom number of atoms in lhs or reactant 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 are those compound which undergo any chemical reaction and then number of atoms in rhs which is your product so what we see first it is fe then hydrogen then oxygen so what is the number of iron in lhs that is one here it is two then hydrogen it is two and here it is also two it is balanced then oxygen it is one and here it is three okay so it is our second step now in third step we will start balancing by putting our suitable using suitable numbers so question comes from where should we start so for the third step a very important thing we should observe which compound is having maximum number of atoms so maximum numbers of atoms here it is 1 here it is 1 2 3 3 here it is three plus two, five, and here it is two. so which one it is fe2 okay and then we are going to select this one then in this compound which atom or which element we should consider the element having highest or maximum number of atom so here f is having only two atoms and oxygen is having three atom so first we will consider the oxygen so what should, what is the main criteria or the main thing to be noticed here the compound with maximum number of atoms and in that compound the element with maximum number of atoms 
so here it is oxygen okay so we have selected this one oxygen will start to balance so let's put the suitable number here so as the oxygen here is 3 we have to put 3 oxygen here we one more very important thing that we are not supposed to change anything inside the box so we have to put the number outside okay so in our first step what will be the number then our reaction will be fp plus 3 h2o is equal to fp 2O3 then H2. Okay. So now let's see again. Again the step second will follow. Number of atom. Atom on LHS. Number of atom on RHS. Okay, it is your element. Element. Because at every step we have to find whether it is balanced or not. So in first step we had change a number. We put the 3 here that it becomes the 3 as 2 are balancing the oxygen atom as oxygen here is 3 and oxygen here is 3. So we have to see. So in our first it is your Fe which is 1 and here it is 2. Okay. Then Hydrogen, just see, hydrogen here it is two atoms in one H2O and we are having three H2O, means it is six atom of hydrogen in LHS, but in, uh, in RHS, in sorry LHS, in case of RHS it is two, then oxygen, we could balance it three, and here also 3. So now our next task is to balance Fe and H2. Sorry, hydrogen. So let's do again. Now Fe or S2 we can consider. Because here it is a maximum number of the rule third will be followed. Compound with maximum number of atom. Here it is 2, 1, 3 here. Means 3 to the 6, 6 plus 3, 9. And here it is only 5. So we will consider the 3s2 now. And in this hydrogen will be considerable. So how the hydrogen will be balanced? It is 6. There was 2. So what we can do? Here we can put the 3s2. Then in our fifth step, in our fourth step, we balance the oxygen. Now we are balancing the hydrogen. Why we are balancing the hydrogen? Because again we are following the step 3, compound with maximum number of atoms, that is water. And in that element with maximum number of atoms, that is hydrogen. Okay. So Fe plus 3H2O. Here it is more number, so we will be balancing it. From here, we'll put three before this box. Okay, box will not change. So now we can see element again, number of atoms in LHS, number of atoms. In RHS. Fe. H. O. Fe here 1. Here 2. Hydrogen 6. Here it is 6. Balanced. Oxygen 3. Oxygen 3. Now we are supposed to balance the Fe now. Okay. So how the Fe will be? So in this reaction, the Fe can be balanced if we put the 2 here. So in our sixth step, we'll consider the Fe. And we'll put the 2 Fe, 
Fe2O3 plus 3H2. Okay. So now we can see the element number of atoms in LHS same in RHS. Fe2 2, two Hydrogen 6, 6. Oxygen 3, 3. Now, oxygen, here it is 3, here it is 3. Hydrogen 3 to the 6 here, 3 to the 6 here. Fe2 and Fe2. So, now our equation is balanced. But to represent is in more informative way, we are supposed to show its physical state also. Okay. So, for the, our balanced equation is 2Fe plus 3H2O Fe2O3 plus 3H2O Okay. Now, let's see its balancing. How to, ba sorry, how to represent is in more informative way by putting its physical state. Physical state. So, there are some protocol to show if the uh, your compound or element is in solid form, then we put S, small s. If it is in liquid form or liquid state, then L. If it is gaseous form, then G. Okay, we can also put like this, if it is a, a steam and it will form a vapor, and if it is precipitate, we'll show it by the symbol this. And if it is especially the aqueous solution or it is water, I should write aqueous solution. solution means solvent is a water then we will represent it like this so here the reaction should be Fe which is in solid state then H2O it was in gaseous form then Fe2O3 we obtain it in solid form then 3H2 it is the gases form. So it was all about balancing of chemical equation. I hope this concept of balancing of equation will help you to understand and it help you to solve other or convert other unbalanced equation into the balanced equation. If you have any problem, you can ask me in comment box and please go through the description also. Thank you very much.